everyone this is another unboxing and review for of yellow toy this time we are going to actually i will be unboxing the funko pop dragon ball sun goku and the flying nimbus this is the in front of the box right here it says dragon ball 109 goku and flying nimbus here's the front Here's the side, edition number one. There's only two Funko Pop for this series, which is, I mean, who are the B Bulma and Goku and the Flying Nimbus. And Funimation and Toei Animation right there. Here is the artwork for Sun Goku. Well, let's unbox it. Just so you all know, this is actually quite a heavy box it is no joke I would say this is one of the few Funko Pop that is quite heavy even though it's about four inch but still it has weight on it so unboxing as usual it has the inner plastic casing let's do it slowly Put this inside the box. Don't want to damage the box for those who care about boxes. My box is actually is in good, in great condition. There's the figure, and here's the box. As you can tell, there's Goku right there. Well, let's check it out. In terms of colors, you have the black, the tan, the purple. It's actually purple here. And then the red uh, bands right here. And there's the flying Nimbus in yellow. And there's Goku Tail. If you are a fan of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super alone, you have to have this. This is great. Again, it is heavy for a 3 and uh, 3.75 inches of, fun of Funko Pop right here. Here's the side, there's the staff, there's Goku's tail, and there's Nimbus tail right there. There's the back, and here's the front. Now as for the figure itself, like I said, it, it's weight. It's very heavy I would say it's close to being a pound and in terms of uh, defects or any marks scuffs I don't have anything except for that white spot right there if you can see that where my fingers right here let me see if I can get it closer there we go as you can tell and other than that, I don't really see much of any scuffs and marks. I mean, they did great with the hair. They definitely did great with Nimbus. That's all I can say about that. And the uh, staff actually curves, as you can tell. It curves right there. So... For a Dragon Ball Pop, I think this is absolutely great. Even if you are just a pop collector, I think you got to have this in your collection. This is one of the best, I think, in my opinion, one of the best pop out there. Because it's it has weight, it's solid for the look, it's absolutely great. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, you know who this is. Even if people don't know who it is, they look at it and say, hmm, wonder who that is or where this character is from. I mean, I don't know what else to say. In terms of, again, the paint on my, on this pop, I don't see much marks on other colors. And it is the Sun Goku. I would actually prefer this than the normal Goku or even the Super Saiyan Goku Pop. Now I do have the Super Saiyan 
Goku God Pop, which I will unbox and review some other time. But for now, this is on the spotlight. And I think this is great. As you can tell, the finer details in Nimbus is great. It is like a cloud. And this is the original Sun Goku. And like I said, this is not blue. This is more in the purple shade of colors. And this is how I expect Goku to be in pop form. But that is my unboxing and review of the Dragon Ball, Funko Pop, Goku, and the Flying Nimbus. I'll see you in the next unboxing and review. This is Yellow Toy. Bye-bye.